Now, normally this event passes without much attention, but not this time. On Monday, the official portraits of former President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama were unveiled for the first time at the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C., and they will hang in the National Portrait Gallery as the official portraits of the former president and the first lady. But it's important to note that there are actually more than one official portrait of the president, and the White House has its own separate collection of portraits that hang there, and the president gets to choose who he wants hanging on the walls of the White House when he gets elected, and they typically choose presidents from their own party. President Trump, for example, has Abraham Lincoln, Ronald Reagan, and Andrew Jackson in the White House today. Andrew Jackson's portrait, inst interestingly enough, is one of the more unique ones. It's got this sort of red vampire cape on it, and that's how the Smithsonian Museum describes it. But the first and most famous painting is probably George Washington's. And every president since John Adams has hung this painting in the White House. Now, during the War of 1812, when the White House was burned to the ground by the British, Dolly Madison actually saved that painting so it wouldn't be destroyed. Now, interestingly enough, when George W. Bush uh, was having his painting unveiled, he made a joke to Michelle Obama. He said that um, if the White House were to burn down again, hopefully, she would save his painting and not the original George W's painting instead, and that got a pretty good laugh. President Bush, by the way, naturally hangs the painting of his father, President George H.W. Bush, in the White House when he was president, but there are a lot of portraits. Don't forget, we've had 45 presidents, and some of them are rarely hung. Any idea who these three guys are? I'll give you a hint. They all start with the same name, and I put the answer on my Facebook page, Rob Finnerty TV, if you want to check that out. But back to the Obama's portraits. They're definitely unique, but some Portraits are just strange. Check this out. This is FDR's painting from 1945. It's depicted with all these paintings of his hands. And here's Bill Clinton's from when he left office, just kind of abstract and some would say strange. But a lot of people are saying that the painting of Michelle Obama doesn't look anything like her. Now, I'm going to let you decide, but it does make you wonder about every first lady and president that was alive before the camera was actually invented. Like, for example, let's go back to Dolly Madison. Is that really what she looked like? We might never know.